All right. Um, so occasionally, um, when we solve um, a system of equations, um, we end up with a number that's not very nice to plug back into the one of the original equations. So let's see how we can um, to uh, how we can do a problem um, when we end up with a not so nice number. So in this problem, we're going to we're going to use the elimination method. So we're going to put it in standard form. So I'm going to subtract my 4x. And um, add 2y. OK, so here are my two equations. And I need to eliminate um, either the x's or the y's. In this case, let's go ahead and eliminate the x's because one is already positive, one's already negative. OK, so the smallest number that they both go into is 12. So I am going to multiply the top equation by 3. I'm going to multiply the bottom equation by 2. So that will give me negative uh, 12x plus 9y. Don't forget to multiply the constant. And in the bottom, 12x plus 4y. And again, don't forget to multiply the constant. Okay, going to add those together. And I get 42. And 13 does not go into 42. I don't think. <laughs> Let me check. It does not. Okay. So here's my y value, and to be perfectly honest, this is not a nice number to be plugging into an equation. So what I'm going to do instead is, um, you see how I eliminated the x's? I'm actually going to repeat this entire process, only eliminate the y's. Okay, so I'm going to start back here. I've got negative 4x equal to 8 and rather than eliminate the x's this time I want to eliminate the y's okay so the smallest number that they both go into is 6 but I do need one positive and one negative they're currently both positive so let me multiply the top one by a positive 2 and the bottom by negative 3 All right, so now I've got a negative 8x plus 6y is 16, and negative 18x minus 6y, negative 27. I'm going to add them. Um, I can't do that in my head. Is it negative 11? Negative 27, negative 11. And I'm going to divide. And I get, remember a negative divided by negative. So there you go. Um, Sometimes it's easier to just do the process uh, twice um, when the numbers are not so nice. OK, again, those special cases. We had case one, case two, and case three, where we had they, they cross. Those are the ones that we've been doing, um, where they're parallel or where they are the exact same line. Again, we have to figure out what it's going to look like when we have a special case when we do this process right here. So um, this one, I'm going to multiply the top equation by negative 2. So I have negative 6x equals 14. Negative 
I'm going to add them together and there we go. Make sure I write it down correctly. I end up on the left side, I got zero X's and I have zero Y's. Notice once again, my variables both canceled out, both were eliminated. Not one or the other, but both of them were eliminated. When both are eliminated, you check to see if the numbers are equal to each other. If they are, then it would be infinitely many solutions. If they're not, then it's a situation where they're parallel. And once again, we could use the empty set symbol. So this is what, these two lines would be parallel if we were to graph them. Um, same idea, I think I'm gonna multiply this one by two. So I have four X plus 10 Y. I'm gonna add them together. And this time everything cancels and I have zero is equal to zero, which is true. So this is where we end up having infinitely many, many, I wish I had an eraser, but I don't. Infinitely many solutions. And once again, the set of all ordered pairs x, y, such that, pick one of the equations. Like that. All right, the second video was pretty short. So here we go, which is a nice thing.